I think one key take from Manish was that if you give a discount of your commission, you're actually discounting the service also. And that's what happens with most people when you start cutting your uh, margins and start giving them back to the customer. Then when the customer comes back for the grills, then at that point of time you say, hey, I can't help you for the grills because you gave me no money. So that is definitely a huge possibility. So yes, we, I, you know, without getting into names, we are helping a large um, partner, you know, sell their residential apartments in, in, in more than one market. And uh, we did not budge from uh, an agreement which said that we would get paid 3%. Uh, and, and the reason is uh, the, cust the client who wants us to sell all these apartments, and these, these are, you know, hundreds of them, uh, was very sure that they wanted a certain experience. Uh, and we wouldn't have been able to provide it unless you know, there was good money for us. And we were willing to walk away unless, you know, we were given that. So that developer understood and, you know, it's been a very successful partnership with the developer. Excellent. So the anecdote, you know, pay peanuts, get monkeys is absolutely true then. In Great. our case, yes. Absolutely. It's always true. Anurag. So, uh, Sam, I, I, I mean, you asked, the, your question was, what's the secret mantra for successful developers? I, I can't spell out, like when he said, what the, the successful, the secret for success is. But I can certainly tell you, what, and this, this uh, relates to residential once again, so what the buyers are looking for, and this is through first-hand experience. I don't think uh, it's always about money and how cheap, etc. And I've seen this very closely, uh, how the customer profile change and what, what it is. So five things, in my view, how, what customers are behaving now. One is your buyer, your customer has become more confident. They're far more confident than they used to be 15 years ago. They, they're buying, they're putting a lot of money on the table, and they want to deal with a lot of confidence. They are not in an environment in the 70s where they would uh, be allotted a DDA flat and like it or not, take it or leave it kind of a situation. They are more confident. They're saying, I'm putting my hard-earned money on the table, I'm borrowing. You're putting a product, I'm going to pay your price. What's in it for me? And they want to deal with, 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 with a lot of confidence. They are doing so. Second is, I think they're getting aspirational. Everyone who is now buying a house or apartment is talking about aspirations. He's looking for a nicer place to live. He wants to uh, raise his family in an environment, in an apartment which is better than what he grew up in. And, that, and they, they know they can afford it. They're earning well, they have a bright future, and they, they're aspirational uh, in their approach to buying uh, uh, the housing for themselves. The third is their discerning. They know what they want and they are learning. Like Manish gave that uh, incident earlier, they're going to YouTube. I mean, what's the connection of YouTube with buying a house? But they're going, they're doing Googling, they're doing YouTube, all sorts of stuff. They want to know what works, what doesn't work, how does it help. I, I get surprised, I get take, taken aback. You get young techies who know about concreting, they know about tiling, they know about a whole lot of stuff. Uh, when they go to the apartment, they ask that question. They want to, they want to throw a challenge at, at that. So they, they know what they want. The fourth is, I think they're looking for value for money. It's not cheap. It's not a low price that they're looking for, but they're looking at value for money. Am I getting the value for my money? Uh, it, it is irrelevant as to what level of product is he buying. If he's buying a, a 15,000 rupees a square foot product, or if he's buying a 3,000 rupees a square foot product, he wants to know, am I getting the value? Am I getting the true value for this? Is this the location, is the quality of construct, is the number of apartments per acre, and, and so on and so forth. And I think the last, and the most important thing in my view, and the, absolutely the, the most important thing, is they're looking for transparency. Absolutely. They're, this industry, unfortunately, and I'm, I, I'm part of this industry and we're all to be blamed, we have not built the level of transparency that is expected of us. We need to move in that direction. We need to be far less opaque than we have been and we are. There needs to be greater transparency. If there's a project delay, we need to go out and tell the customer before they find out saying, look, there's a three months delay because of whatever reasons. And, and mind you, there are developers who are doing it now. I, I have faced this situation a couple of years ago. There was this uh, development, I won't name the developer, uh, uh, there's nicely developed apartments, they're getting delayed, six months, nine months, etc. The developer, 
and these these uh, potential buyers are all very evolved professionals they're getting very irate say what's happening etc 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 and they fall in that google group which every apartment block today has and they were getting nastier etc i knew some of those people i i obviously didn't want to participate in that but i went to the developer i said look why are you hiding why don't you go and face these people there are 300 people who are your customers who they paid you new money go and face them tell them look i have a six months delay i have a one year delay we'll deal with it please be patient be with me these are the reasons this is what i'll do this is how we'll address it that sort of philosophy need we need to embed in our system in how we essentially do business and how we transact with people transparency is going to be vitally important today this is the this is the time and age of it industry i mean everything is available on tap i mean you know what's happening in botswana on your news channel before you know what happened at school uh, your kids school that's the level of information technology that we have news is traveling fast so therefore we need to be more transparent we need to go to the clients up front and saying look the project that you invested in is getting a little delayed these are the reasons and i think we we have to participate as service providers as well it's not just developers we have to participate we have to do more on that side so these are some of the things that i think thanks anurag i think this was a great session thank you very much guys i'll leave you with one thought if you want a discount i think the developers feel that it's okay for customers to negotiate and haggle some brokers also feel the same i just want to ask you guys has anybody gone to mcdonald's and taken a discount if you have then continue that practice otherwise stop it mm -hmm.